The race to maintain superiority in the realm of artificial intelligence is not just a matter of technology, but also of national security. As tensions rise on the global stage, two of the world's superpowers, the US and China, are battling for AI dominance. And while many in America might be celebrating advancements in consumer AI services, there's a more significant concern lurking behind the scenes. According to recent testimonies on Capitol Hill, China is pouring a more substantial portion of its AI research into defense applications compared to the U.S. Alexander Wang, the founder of Scale AI, highlighted the stark contrast in military investments between the two nations. He revealed that the People's Liberation Army, or the PLA, is dedicating between 1-2% to of their entire budget to artificial intelligence, while the U.S. Department of Defense is only allocating between 0.1 to 0.2 percent. However, it's not just about the numbers, but the intent and direction behind them. A recent report by Govany, a data analytics firm, unveiled that there's a concerning gap between top U.S. defense companies and those leading in AI. While America might be making strides in attracting novel AI players to its defense procurement system, the country is not scaling them to match China's pace. Tara Murphy Darty, Governor's CEO, paints a picture that should alarm many, stating that this year China is outpacing the United States by innovation measures. The Pentagon's efforts, although commendable, may not be sufficient. Even though it boasts the most significant R&D budget in its history, a broader view reveals that China's spending may eclipse America's. Bob Work, former Deputy Defense Secretary, emphasizes this change in the global landscape where, for the first time, another nation has the potential to outspend the U.S. in military technology. However, not all hope is lost. Another study from GDIT suggests that the U.S. military and federal workers are not averse to adopting new AI technologies. The real challenge lies in the leadership's uncertainty around costs associated with hiring and training AI specialists. Mike Cole from GDIT's Federal Civilian Division elucidates on the dilemma, pointing out the dual nature of leaders' perspectives. They want to save money through emerging technology but also grapple with the challenges of acquiring and implementing these new tools. Amidst these concerns, there's a glimmer of hope from Klon Kitchen, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. He posits that America possesses an advantage in the quality of its data, especially military-specific data. Even though China has the capability to gather extensive data on its citizens and potentially purchase data on U.S. citizens, it might not translate into a decisive military edge. Moreover, Kitchen suggests that China's strict surveillance of its population might compromise the integrity and usefulness of the data they amass. At this crucial juncture, the U.S. military should prioritize organizing and optimizing its vast data reservoirs. Every day, the military accumulates a whopping 22 terabytes of operational data. This isn't limited to the battlefield, but also extends to areas like manufacturing, transportation, and logistics. Wang presses upon the urgency of setting up a central data repository to harness this data, process it, and make it AI-ready. However, he also wisely reminds us that such endeavors require time and won't happen overnight. The clock is ticking, and the AI race is intensifying. The U.S. must act swiftly, combining its technological prowess, vast data resources, and strategic planning to ensure it doesn't cede ground to its competitors. The future of national security and global dominance might very well hinge on it.